Hello, it's January 4th, 2021. It's 10 p.m. Welcome to the weather update. Uh, and we're going to talk about the latest with the weather. Uh, we did get some sunshine this afternoon. You can see there was a kind of an opening over Long Island. We're just looking at some of the satellite images here. We had a couple of little opening over Long Island with some sunshine this afternoon, uh, which is uh, interesting, but a few clouds around too. Uh, not completely clear, but it was nice to see the sun. Temperatures are now in the 30s, mid-30s after being in the 40s. Four highs today. Here's another look at the satellite image. And you can see we still have that opening over Long Island there with the clear skies. Uh, Long Island and New England. It's very interesting to see that. Uh, <laughs> kind of unusual, too. Kind of unusual. And that's because of this storm over here, which is actually pretty wound up and pretty intense. We're going to take a look at this thing. Um, I'm going to just go right into the northeast. We're not going to look at the... Um, just going to look at the northeast area, uh, the northeast region. I'm curious that the wind, uh, the models uh, got the, oh yeah, some pretty strong winds around this thing. Uh, but it's all out in the middle of the ocean, which is very interesting, but very strong winds around this thing. Uh, quite a potent coastal storm that's sitting there right now. Uh, but that is uh, that is where it is going to stay. Uh, it is not going to be heading our way. Uh, so uh, we'll take a look at the GFS here right through the end. We'll just look from now through next weekend. Uh, and uh, you will see here that that eventually does move away. Uh, but it still kind of sits around uh, east of Nova Scotia, which keeps us in the northwest flow. Good thing is it stays dry, the northwest flow. Uh, and it looks like now that that system for the weekend uh, right now continues to get suppressed to the south. So uh, that will be suppressed, and that's, again, due to that strong blocking, that Greenland bl blocking that we spoke about yesterday. Um, so we'll go ahead and look at a, what kind of temperatures we'll have throughout this weekend as well as the skies. Uh, so uh, for tomorrow, uh, it's in the morning, we'll probably get down to the low 30s and recover to around that 40 degree mark, low 40s tomorrow, just slightly above normal. Same thing for Wednesday, maybe a touch colder, maybe upper 30s across Long Island um, and around 40 in New Jersey. You can see some colder air uh, that's coming, uh, that's over here right now. So it's going to keep temperatures close to average, maybe a little bit above average. Uh, but that northwest flow is a good thing because it'll keep the cool air in. And temperatures stay close to normal, slightly above normal, up at 30s, low 40s, depending on where you're at. Uh, for Saturday, though, that low going by to the south is going to pull down a little colder air. So it's going to feel a little colder on Saturday with highs in the mid-30s across Long Island. Perhaps still 40 in New Jersey. And Sunday, look at that, a little chillier on Long Island there. Well, just about the same, mid-30s, I guess. You know, But at night, you can see how that cold air comes in. Uh, at night, it's going to be in the 20s. So it's going to be colder at night. Once that cold air winds up coming in, and we're going to see some colder air. Not Arctic air, not yet. Um, and like I said, we're not really going to talk about the long range too much in this. Just the skies and uh, the temperatures, basically. So this is the GFS cloud forecast uh, that we're going to look at here. And you can see that hole still kind of persisting over Long Island. We'll see. Maybe we can get some more sunshine tomorrow. And then for Wednesday, we should see a lot more sunshine, uh, especially in New Jersey and maybe Long Island, too. Uh, and th that northwest flow keeps us in clear skies. Look at that. Thursday, we'll have clear skies again. Friday, we may be dealing with a few more clouds uh, with that system passing to the south. Here's Saturday, uh, clouds to start, and maybe uh, by the afternoon we clear out. And then Sunday, also mostly sunny. So we have a, we have a number of sunny, dry days. That's why it's a good pattern. It's a sunny, dry pattern. Uh, temperature's near average, so it's it's a pretty, pretty good pattern for January. Uh, We'll uh, also take a look at the NAM model as well. And uh, see, the NAM also has that clear patch over Long Island right there. So uh, we may have mostly sunny skies across Long Island tomorrow. Uh, for Wednesday, uh, a few clouds maybe, uh, but it should be mostly sunny, I think. Uh, and even better, I think, for Thursday. Uh, we'll look at the RGM as well. This is because we have nice dry air. This is the zeros. Let me use the 18s because we don't have a, enough of that in. Uh, so let's look at the R gem for tomorrow. Not quite as bullish with the with the clear skies. Maybe a little more toward the afternoon. Wednesday certainly we'll see more sun. So Wednesday looks pretty good as well as Thursday. Uh, and that's as far out as the R gem goes. And again, this is all courtesy of the dry air, the northwest flow. We'll uh, look at the dew points here and I'll all right, I can't. I don't get dew points on this model. We'll go back to GFS. But this is all courtesy of the dry air, the northwest flow that we're in. Uh, so you can see by looking at the dew points that we have low dew points. 
Northwest winds, north to northwest wind tomorrow, dew points in the 20s, dew points in the 20s, dew points. See, dry air. So that's all the, yeah, that dry air brings the clear skies. And then drier, colder. You notice the dew points drop on the weekend. That's colder air moving in. So this will be even drier air and probably even lead to even nicer skies. So this is a good pattern to be in. No rain throughout for the next, right through the weekend. Doesn't look like any rain at all. No precipitation, so that's good as well. So we're in a good dry pattern to finally, one of those rare dry patterns we can get to enjoy. So get out there and do just that and enjoy it. That's going to wrap up this weather update. Take care and thank you for watching.